Good morning. Welcome to our topic for today, the pH concept. pH is a very popular term in um, chemistry as it relates to solutions. I'll begin by telling you that pH is usually written this way with a small letter P and then uppercase or capital letter H. So this is how we write pH. There's also the term POH, you write that as P, small letter, then OH, capitals. Now what is pH? We say as a mnemonic, pH means potential of hydrogen. So potential of hydrogen is the meaning of this term pH. That term was coined by the man Soren Sorensen. Now what does pH describe? pH describes the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a medium. Now let's take your mind to something to your, um, something you're very familiar with like um, temperature. Yeah. In physics we say temperature or the temperature of a body is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. So it means that temperature does not mean hotness, neither does it just mean coldness. It com um, comprises the two. It covers both of them. Now for temperature to mean one of them, we would need to add adjectives like high or low. When I say, wow, today's temperature was so high, of course that depicts hotness. When we talk about low temperatures, then it brings to mind the idea of coldness. So in like manner, pH as a term describes both acidity and alkalinity. But if you want pH to describe just one of them, then you will need to add things like high or low to it. Then pH begins to talk about acidity or just alkalinity. Generally speaking, when we say a high pH, it brings to mind alkalinity. And then when we say a low pH, it will be suggestive of acidity. So the lower the pH, the more the acidity, and the higher the pH, the higher the what? Alkalinity. Now here is something called a pH scale. So it's a scale that helps us um, categorize pH values as acidic or alkaline. That scale ranges from 0 to 14, but there's a midpoint that's like a cutoff, and the value there is 7. When pH is 7, when pH is equal to 7, we say that the medium in question is neutral, meaning not acidic, and not alkaline or having equal amounts of acidity and alkalinity. So a pH of 7 is described as neutral. But any pH value less than 7 is regarded as acidic, as long as it's less than 7. Then any pH value greater than 7 is said to be alkaline. So acidic is below, alkaline is above. Then, if you look at these values, for example, see these three values, there are three solutions here, A, B, C. Solution A has a pH of 4, B has a pH of 9, and C, 11. Therefore, we can say that A is acidic, whereas B and C are alkaline. But even though B and C are alkaline, C is more alkaline, because this shows us that the further away we go from 7, the more alkaline the solution. So it means that 11 is more alkaline than 9. C is more alkaline than B. But I may also report that as B is more acidic than C. Yes, it's correct. Even though they are both alkaline, it's possible to describe one of them as being more acidic, whereas more acidic would mean what now? Less alkaline. So in that case, when we say less alkaline or we say more acidic, they mean the same thing. Is that okay? 
So that is for this. That is how we describe these values of pH. Now let me quickly mention that even though the pH scale reads between 0 and 14, we see that pH can actually go above 14 and pH can go below 0. So it doesn't mean, this scale does not mean that the maximum value of pH is 14 and the minimum is 0. No, pH values can actually go beyond 14 or drop below 0, especially, especially at temperatures away from 25 degrees Celsius. Yeah, at 25 degrees Celsius, usually, at 25 degrees Celsius, usually, Aqueous solutions, aqueous solutions of substances have pH values ranging between 0 and 14. So what conditions did I give for pH to range between 0 and 14? I said usually that pH will need to be measured at room temperature and then the substance in question should usually be in the form of an aqueous solution. So when you have an aqueous solution of a substance at 25 degrees Celsius, yes, it's very likely that its pH will range between 0 and 14. But at other temperatures and for other kinds of solutions, pH can actually go out of this range. Leaving that, how do we solve questions on pH? Because usually, apart from the theory where you may be asked if a solution is acidic or alkaline, there are cases where you are given questions to calculate the pH of solutions. Now, how you solve a pH question depends on whether the solution that you're considering is a strong solution or a weak solution. For weak solutions, their pH values are a bit more difficult to calculate, even though you use roughly the same formula. Yes, at first the formulas will not look like they are the same, but here yeah, the same formula I'm going to give you now for strong solutions that we also use for weak solutions, just that we get to modify it a bit. But for now, see the formulas we have here. They are formulas for calculating pH of strong solutions. The first one says pH is the negative log to base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration. We'll be talking about this. We'll be talking about this after now. We'll be using the formulas. But you see this 10, I will not necessarily be writing it. Then POH. POH is a related term. It's like um, the other side of pH, the other half of pH. It balances pH out. So that we have a formula for POH. And then we have formulas relating pH and POH as well as H plus and OH minus. So... With these formulas, we are going to solve questions after now. But remember, we said a high pH indicates alkalinity, a low pH acidity, then a pH uh, of 7 is said to be what neutral. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to solve pH questions. I'll be showing you pH questions where H plus is given, as well as pH questions where H plus is not given. So we'll see how to solve such questions after this break and in the next video.